Okay, now let's talk about something called dilution. Dilution has to do with concentration. It's when you're diluting the concentration, you're decreasing the concentration, you're adding more solvent and that's gonna reduce the concentration. It's just like if you made lemonade or sweet tea and it was too strong, you wanted to add more water to dilute the amount of lemonade or sweet tea per total volume. So the concentration, um, the, the formula that we're gonna use to dilute this concentration is gonna be this, M1V1 equals M2V2. So I'm gonna go through what each of these pieces stands for. M1, this stands for the initial molarity. V1, this is the initial volume. M2, this is the final molarity. And V2, this is the final volume. You may also see this formula called M-I-V-I-M-F-V-F, -I -I which is the same, just initial molarity and volume equals final molarity and volume. Same thing. Okay, so whenever you are solving for a dilution problem, you're gonna be given three of these four terms and you're just gonna solve for the fourth. So let's look at what an example of that, how that would read. So it's gonna say if 25 milliliters of water is added to 125 milliliters of a 0.15 molar sodium hydroxide solution, what is the final molarity? Okay, <clears throat> so let's just go through and identify what is happening in this problem. So 25 milliliters of water is added. So let's come back to that in a minute. To a 125 milliliter solution of a 0.15 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So this 125 milliliters, this is my initial volume, that's V1. 0.15 molar, that's my initial molarity, that's M1. So this problem doesn't come right out and say what M2 or V2 is, it asks what's the final molarity, that's M2. This is what I'm solving for, what is M2? But it doesn't give me V2. What it says is 25 milliliters of water is added so the final volume, V2, is actually gonna be 125 milliliters plus 25 milliliters. The final volume is gonna be 150 milliliters. So sometimes these word problems don't come right out and say what each term is, but it gives you the information in the problem and then you just have to think about how to interpret it. So now I'm just gonna plug this in, M1V1 equals M2V2. So M1, I said, was 0.15 molar, 0.15 molar, times my initial volume, 125 milliliters. This volume can be in whatever unit. It does not have to be in liters. It does have to be in the same unit as the other volume, but it can be in milliliters or liters or whatever. Equals M2, that's what I'm solving for, M2 times V2, which we just said if we add 25 milliliters, then V2 is gonna be 150 milliliters. So I'm gonna solve for M2 by dividing both sides by 150 milliliters. And I'm gonna determine that M2 with two significant figures is about 0.13 molar. This is my final concentration. And think about if this makes sense. We're gonna be doing a lot of calculations where it would be quite easy to put a number in your calculator wrong, miss a decimal place, something like that. So anytime you can use logic and understanding to see if your answer makes sense, that's always gonna benefit you. 
This problem is telling you that you're adding more water, which means you're diluting this solution. If the initial concentration was 0.15 molar, that means your final concentration had better be less than 0.15 molar because you're diluting it. You're decreasing the concentration. So this does make sense, um, but this is just a good thing to always be thinking because as these pro um, problems get more complicated, um, there's more opportunity to make math mistakes. And if you're thinking about it, does this logically make sense? That will always help you. Let's look at one more. How much water would I need to add to 500 milliliters of a 2.4 molar potassium chloride solution to make a 1.0 molar solution? So we're diluting it and we wanna see how much water we need to add. Okay, how much water would I need to add to a 500 to 500 milliliters of a 2.4 molar potassium chloride solution to make a 1.0 molar solution? So 500, this is my initial volume. That's V1, whoops, one, not I. 2.4 molar, this is my initial concentration, M1. 1.0 molar, this is my final concentration, M2. What I'm looking for is V2. That's the question. What is V2? But it's not quite that straight because it says, how much water would I need to add? So let's think about that because we're already starting with 500 milliliters. So I'm gonna write this out, M1V1 equals M2V2. So M1, 2.4 molar. V1, 500 milliliters. M2, 1.0 molar. V2 is what I'm solving for. So I'm gonna divide both sides by 1.0 molar. And I get that V2 equals 1200 milliliters. So if the question asked, what is V2? Here is my answer. V2 is 1200 milliliters. But that's not what the question asked. The question asked, how much water would I need to add to 500 milliliters to get this? So if you need 1200 milliliters and you're starting with 500 milliliters, the true answer to this question is you would need to add 700 milliliters. So make sure you're reading the questions carefully because sometimes the answer that you get from the formula is not really what the question is asking. So V2 in this situation, the final volume is 1200 milliliters. You needed to add 700 milliliters to go from 500 to 1200. So this is really the answer to the question.